about how uh, today's first practice went. Yeah, you know, today I was really pleased. Uh, you know, we've had a really, really good offseason, and I think, you know, a lot of our players, obviously, and, and coaches, you know, having some guys new on the staff, uh, we were we were anticipating this day, and we were anxious for this day to come. And uh, I, I really feel like our players did a really nice job of of focusing, and you know they've been really excited, and and they've been uh, they've been great at, at really um, you know trying to learn you know new verbiage and new concepts and things of that nature. So uh, today was the first day we got a chance to actually put it into put it into action, and it was it was a good day. And uh, obviously we, we you know we got so far to go, but. You know, a lot of young guys running around out there trying to improve and, and increase their football knowledge. And uh, so I, I was pleased with today. I thought it really, um, I thought it was a good day. This is one of the most important springs you've had since you've been here just because of all the newness and the young guys and, and some question marks across the board? Uh, you know, I don't, I, I mean, it's certainly an important spring. Uh, there's no question about that. Um, you know, it's just, uh, it's, it's fun. You know, this is a fun time for us. And... You know, it, it, it's it's a little different flavor than the than the previous three years, simply because of the newness uh, of some of the things we're doing on both sides of the ball. You know, our special our special teams are the only constant thing that we've had. You know, the previous three years, so um, it's very important. Uh, I think every spring is for everybody. You know, but it, it's very important for us. And uh, you know, again, every position uh, has a chance to compete for a job. You know, so. Uh, Again, very, very important, uh, but a very, you know, very good opening day. But, I mean, first time you've seen these guys, Coach, was that, did you just kind of watch them so, and you guys? Well, you know, I feel really confident, you know, in all of the guys that, you know, that, uh, that I hired and um, true professionals. So, you know, again, just, you know, I watch everything. I watch everything in practice. I watch the players. I watch the coaches. I watch the structure of practice. But, uh, but it's fun to watch some new guys out there, some new blood, some new life, uh, and I think for the players as well. So, uh, again, I think it was overall, you know, it was just kind of good for everybody to get that first day under our belt. Look back to CJ uh, moving over from receiver to tight end. Is that like a permanent thing, or is it just an experiment? No, it's not an experiment. You know, uh, when we recruited CJ initially, you know, that's where all along I felt like he would he would be. Uh, if, you, if you go through the, hist the history of, um, and the test of history of football and the test of time, there's been a lot of ex high school quarterbacks that have really become uh, very good tight ends. And um, so, you know, that was my vision for him all along, you know, when we recruited him because he's had one of the best off seasons uh, of, of anybody on our team. He's worked extremely hard, uh, he's gotten strong, uh, he was. Uh, you know, just very dedicated in the weight room and, and off season to getting in shape. Uh, you know, what he's going to have to learn is the physicality of the game at that position, uh, which, you know, uh, I really feel like he'll be able to grasp that. Now, it'll take some time, and it'll be a process for him. You know, there's no question about it. But he's got the size, he's got the speed, uh, he's, he's a smart young man, and he's got great work ethic. So there's no reason why he can't be a very good tight end in this league. Do you need any of the other young guys kind of catch your eyes as far as kind of changing their body from last fall to, to the spring? A lot of them, Jason. I, I hesitate to say one. You know, I think our I think our football team, with what they did from when we got back in January to where they are now, mm -hmm. as a whole team, I think that you know we've made a lot, a lot of strides, uh, you know, changing the way our our football team looks physically, and and uh, you know when you have that many young guys that you play with. You know, going from 18 to 19 or 19 to 20 years old, you know that's a that's a period of time where you really can see some some great gains, and there's no question in my mind we've seen that. He did. He did. Joel has uh, decided to kind of move on with his life and, and graduate, and uh, I feel confident that he will do that. Uh, but that was the decision that uh, that we sat down and talked about a couple of months ago. And uh, we wish him well, and uh, that's his number one goal is to graduate from Auburn. And that's my number one goal for him. Uh, we know Lush is going to be out with injury. Nosa, Kenneth Carter, they also fall in that category. They do. That was off-season shoulder surgery. It's, I'm not going into the details of why, but yes, they all fall in the same category of not really being able to go through spring practice because of, you know, uh, 
off-season injuries. We just had to get repaired from the year before. Gee, what do you expect from T. Bell? I mean, is he going to be able to do some stuff? Um, uh, T. is really in a good place right now in terms of uh, where we thought he'd be versus where he is. I think one of the, if there's any positive for T. in that knee injuries, is that it's not his first one. So the mentality of the rehab for him, you know, he understands that, and he's really ahead of where we thought he would be. What he's going to be able to do before uh, we finish spring ball, uh, probably not a lot with us uh, in terms of practice, uh, DB skill work. Uh, but I am happy that he's ahead of where you know we thought he would be. You know, at this time he's really making some huge strides. So that's that's really encouraging for you know for fall practice. Do you feel like there's a good chance he'll be ready to go? Yeah. You know, I'm not a doctor, Philip. And, uh, but, you know, I hope so. I'm encouraged. I think he's encouraged. I'm encouraged. And, and, again, only time will tell. But, like I said, you know, I feel like he's ahead of where, uh, you know, where we thought he might be at this time. Gene, you've already had formal introductions, of course, with, with the, the, the new coaches. But this was an opportunity to have everyone on the field together. What were you hoping to get? I know it's just one day, but what were you hoping to get out of this day? Uh, as far as the coaching realm goes? Uh, just, there's so many new, new parts all together. So. Well, you know, I mean, there is. There's, there's, on your first day of practice, there's a lot of moving parts other, everywhere, whether you have new coaches or not. But, you know, today, uh, it, was, it was a good first day for our new coaches because you know, everybody does practices different. So the structure of practice and things of that nature and the tempo of practice, uh, that, was the, that was the main thing that, you know, they were able to, you know, kind of just go with the flow in terms of how practice unfolds. So that was good for them to be out there. They did a great job today. They were all up tempo and high tempo and uh, just like we like it. And uh, so uh, again, for them, uh, I think it was a productive first day as well. A couple guys we didn't see as may have missed in the early session, uh, Jonathan Evans, Ladarius Phillips, and Akeem Williams. Mm -hmm. Jonathan Evans and uh, Akeem are, again, kind of in the injury category. and, and uh, you know, their status for the spring right now is going to be the same as the other guys that we just talked about. Ladarius Phillips is dealing with some personal issues, and um, so he wasn't out there today. If his status changes, then you know, I'll let you know. So those other two guys, like, you don't expect them to be out for the whole spring? Yeah, correct. Anything else? Yeah, uh, Jay Proch. Uh, not just today's practice, but what have you thought about him since he's joined the program? Uh, just really, really pleased with Jay. Uh, just from the day he's gotten here, uh, you know, the element of work ethic that he brings to our team. Uh, he's just been, uh, he's been, he's been great. He, he's been everything that we had hoped he would be. Uh, he's a tough guy. We've seen him play college football, so we're not guessing as to whether, you know, he can play or not. Uh, but he's a tremendous worker. Um, Football means a lot to him, and uh, he's been a great addition to our team. And then also I want to ask you about um, Sean Coleman. Mm -hmm. What's his current status? Is there any chance that he can return to Well, um, yeah, soon is a relative term. I'm not really sure what that is, but uh, right now he has not been cleared. And, um, you know, until he is, then, you know, his status is going to be the same. He, he was able to work out with us. You know, in the you know the winter workouts, and he's really done well in that regard. But uh, he is um, he's not been cleared to play actually play football yet. You're, you're obviously used to these quarterback battles in the spring. What do you hope for these guys to get out of the spring, especially physique? Who hasn't been through it? Well, you know, like any year, you know, you, you're you're asking a quarterback to, to manage the team. You know, you're asking him to be productive. You're asking him to you know, be a leader of men. You know, it's it's. You know, it's 200 years old in terms of what we're asking them to do. Uh, what makes it a little different is that they're all on a level playing field because everything's new for all three of them. And so, um, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a challenging spring for all three guys. And, and um, you know, uh, but I'm looking forward to the to the battle. It's going to be it's going to be good. Have you, do you know when you'll hear about Jay? Approach whether or not he can play this fall. Um, we've filed the waiver, Mark, and we're, we're waiting to hear. So I don't, I don't know how long we're sure of that. Yeah, I don't know the time time frame of that. Anything else? Appreciate it. Thank you.